Oh, had to scoot up for the thing. Two vlogs in one day. Can you believe it? I mean, come on. Heidi's mad because my cousin's leaving. But, um, Beth, I got the package today. Look at my sushi bag, people. That looks good right there. Yes. Although, I don't think I would eat something that's, like, smiling at me. Um, sorry for the barking. On my girly skull bag, I have a pink one that I bought. The very first, one of the first ones I bought. The only problem I found with the bags, the Velcro is so strong that it's starting to rip my seam, like, right along here where the tab is. I'm going to have to sew it. And she also sent me a keychain with some more of the sushi fabric. I actually ordered a whole bunch of bags. There's a whole bunch of them in here. And a couple of the doggy poop poop bags thing. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I already know a few people who are getting some of these as presents and family members. Yeah. Um, I just had an interesting evening. My crazy aunt, uh, my dad's sister, baby sister. She crazy. Well, she calls this afternoon saying, I'm coming over because I'm going to meet my son Ronnie there, who's I'm in business with. Now Heidi's dad. Can I get up on the bed? Come here, Heidi, get up on the bed. She gets here at 5 o'clock. Her and a friend, another goofy-ish type friend. And uh, me and Dad were just getting ready to eat dinner. And they come in. Where's Ronnie? Um, he told me he wasn't going to come till like 7 or so tonight. What do you mean? He's supposed to meet me here, and la 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 la. I'm like, I, I don't know. I just know he's supposed to come at seven. So she stayed for about an hour, and she left. And then she calls back. About she couldn't have been home more than fifteen minutes. I just talked to Ronnie, and he's supposed to be there in a half hour, forty five minutes. So call me when he gets there, cause I'm coming back over. Okay. So Ronnie gets here about 7.15. We neglect to call her right away because we wanted to get some work done. And she calls because we knew she would. And I said, you answer it and say, you just got here. So he answered it and said, hey. And I hear her go, well, Stacy is supposed to call me when you got there. And he goes, Ma, I just, just walked in. She handed me the phone. She said, I just got here. Okay, I'm on my way. Okay. So Ron and I try to do as much work as possible before she gets here. She gets here with her boyfriend, Dan, and the other guy who was with her before, and her dog, a tiny little yappy dog, who Heidi is scared to death of, because she's about half the size of Heidi. She's, not, she's like a four or five pound Pomeranian. Heidi hid underneath the desk, underneath my feet, and me and Ronnie are trying to do work. And then she's in there going, Ronnie, come and visit us. Mom, I gotta, I gotta finish this work. I told you I came over here to work. I didn't come over here to socialize. He was giving her some money to help her out. So we were in here doing work, getting some quotes put together for some people and um, some due business we might be getting, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and going over our billing sheets compared to his route sheets to make sure we coincide. And <laughs> it was finally he went there for a minute with her and said, Mom, I'm doing work. It's not like I come over here to visit Stacy and have fun. I'm here to do work. And you shouldn't be calling me eight times in a row trying to figure out where I am when I'm trying to work. It was hilarious. Funny. Because she's crazy. I love my Aunt Jenny to death, but she's crazy. And on a funnier odd note, I had to call Lizzie and tell her this because I was going to start up the vlog with this, but I figured I'd start out with my crazy family. Now they're all gone. They all just left. Dad left before his sister came back going, I'm getting the hell out before she comes back because he went to Monday Night Football. Tonight, my Saints play the Patriots. I hope they kick the Patriots' butt. Um, so he left before she even came back. So, but <laughs> earlier, Dad came out of the bathroom and goes, I've solved the problem of clogging up the toilet. Because you know my dad poops the turds of death quite often. And I said, I'm so going to tell this to my friends online. He goes, don't tell them. I'm like, I have to call Lizzie. So I immediately pick up the phone and call Lizzie and I'm laughing. I had to repeat it because I was laughing so hard the first time. Apparently in our bathroom we now have a poop knot. 
A poop? I can't even say it. Straight face. He cuts up his poop. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? My dad has a poop knife in the bathroom, people. A poop knife. I said, where is this poop knife? I'm not telling you. Like, I would really want to mess with his freaking poop knife. So the humper, if he goes to the bathroom, has a giant one come out. He then gets up and turns around and jumps it up with his poop knife. Seriously, this is the house where they live in, people! In my life, I've never had to jump up my tickles me even now so yeah if you ever visit me and you happen to have the poo of death you too can chop up your poo in our bathroom okay I'm gonna go because Heidi Ho say hi hi there hey look up here okay yeah she's like where'd Ronnie go I'm going now because yeah mm-hmm all right bye